Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Python. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved, my friends. The 22nd episode. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, just look at me. I look like some sort of ancient freaking anime character. At least I feel like I do anyway. I, I don't know, man. That weird... The facial hair kind of makes it look like it's so... I don't know. But guys, obviously, you know, if you are still excited for the series, a big fat thumbs up would be super, super appreciated. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you very, very much for the amount of support you have been showing the series, my friends. It is absolutely out of this world. Never would have expected this to be among the more popular things on my channel. But uh, you guys never fail to surprise me. You really, really don't. So thank you very much. Now... I have read the comments area of the last episode, and there's a few things that I want to quickly say. Apparently, the artifact that we picked up in the last episode can be used at the end game bosses. These here obelisks. Not entirely sure which one we should go for first, by the way, but, uh, you know, they're just just so we know what it's used for, I guess. Uh, next of all, about the silica pearls, there's two places we can get them, one of which being in the ocean, and then second of which being by killing those trilobites, or trilobites. I'm going to call them trilobites. Tri tri trilobites? I don't know, it's got one L in it, hasn't it? Anyways, all is good, my friends. We've got everybody here, and everything's looking fantastic. i tell you what else would be fantastic is if we were to go ahead and finally make ourselves a bit of a dino pen. That would be absolutely brilliant. But in today's episode, my friends, there are two things I would like to really try and do. One of which would indeed be to try and make ourselves a Quetz saddle or Quetzal saddle. Maybe try and tame one of those guys. And then secondly, you guys were saying that the Procoptodons, basically kangaroos, are actually pretty useful and are pretty fast. So it would be very, very nice if we could go ahead and, uh, you know, do some stuff with that. So I'll tell you what, let's go and put that there. Uh, let's put the assault rifle away for now. And uh, yeah, apparently... According to the wiki, the Procoptodons are found pretty much everywhere. Like, there's no real, like, specified place they spawn. It's just a case of being lucky and finding one, I guess. Right, so, uh, Mr. Pteranodon. I think it might be the Pteranodon's turn to have a bit of a fly around, you know? It's been a little bit. I think this guy will be pretty useful for, you know, scouting around the place. Uh, there is a, there is a Therizino saw down there. Hmm. I'm entirely sure that I want to be getting on the wrong side of that, if I'm entirely honest with you guys. But anyways, we are going to go ahead and go for the Procoptodon, or the Silica Pearls first, you know, either or. It would be fantastic to try and get ourselves some epic stuff. So, let's begin. I mean, I, I guess what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to head towards the ocean down here, and then maybe from here we should be able to find some of those beautiful Silica Pearls. Hey, there's a Quetzal right there. Hello. Hi. Hello. What level are you? What level are you? Buddy? Oh, no, they fly away. Oh, no. Come here. Come here, sir. All right, wait. You want to play like that, do you? Level nine? Oh, it's not. It's a tape jar. Huh, he kind of looked like it, didn't he? Huh. Oh, well, fantastic. Anyways, guys, let's go and see if we can find some silica pearls. Oh, jeez. Oh, please, there's no hostiles around here. I completely neglected the stamina attribute or lack thereof on this freaking dude. Oh, no. Right. Objectives. Let's get them done. Huh. Okay. So I managed to accidentally find some oil instead of silica pearls. Interesting. Well, I mean, I'll take some free oil. Oh, what kind of... Uh, oh, crap. What kind of carry weight does it have? Uh, not a lot, actually. I could probably get away with having it as well. Right, I won't get away with having the stone, though. So you can get out of it. You can probably get out of it. I'll keep the hundred on me because I feel like that's a good amount. Now, according to the resource map that exists on the Ark Survival Evolved wiki, there's actually supposed to be some silica pearls around here somewhere. Oh, God. But if they're on the precipice... Oh, God. That... No. That doesn't sound like a very good place to go to, huh? I don't know about staying around here either, to be honest with you. This just seems like a death trap. <laughs> oh, oh, this doesn't feel very safe, guys. <laughs> oh... Oh god. Alright guys, good news! I've managed to find myself some silica pearls. They're actually pretty easy to spot in the water because, look, they glisten. From a little distance, look, they sort of glisten, don't they? Boom! 93! Okay, we're probably gonna need a little bit more than that for the sake of uh, future keepsakes, but the good news is there's actually quite a lot around here. So, you know, a bit of a tip for those of you guys who are wanting silica pearls, just go towards the north. Where we got... Oh, it's snowing. 
Oh my god, that's actually really appropriate for the time of year. <laughs> oh dear. Absolutely brilliant there, my friends. We have ourselves silica pearls. Things are looking good. Uh, what kind of weight do they have? That's the question. If it's too much, then I won't be able to do much. But then again, a full stack will only do two. Brilliant. Hey, man. Not bad. Not bad. Right. Now, we need to look for a Procoptodon. Procoptodon. Yes, let's do that. Oh, hello, dead Sarko. <laughs> Look at him. He's very surprised that he's dead. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let's see if we can find one of these poor saps. Guys, I think I found one. Procoptodon. All right, are we going to be okay if I land here? No one's going to come after me? I think we might be okay. Right, it's going to be awesome if I could get a little bit closer. Oh, there he is. He's right there. He's right there. Hold on. I'm just trying to land this. <sighs> okay. And... Should I try and bowler him? Get bowlered! Yeah! -ha! Boom! Go on, buddy. I don't know what level this guy is, but uh, I guess we will find out. I don't actually know, like... Oh, God. Oh, no, there's an Argentavis there. Please don't kill me, sir. Oh, don't kill me. I don't want to die, man. I don't want to die. No, 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 no. Seriously, what level is this guy? Must be a fairly high level. Oh, hello. Ah, damn it, man! He must be a high level. He must be a high level if he's taken that many freaking tranquilizer those shots to go down. Oh, my crap. Okay. Uh. Uh. Okay, this is going to be nigh on impossible to try and catch him now. It's going to be actually impossible to try and catch him now. I really wish I could use my bowler. I really, really do wish I could use my bowler. This will make this so much easier. Oh, he's going off that way. Oh, my God, dude. This is going to be such a hassle. Well, guys, the Procoptodon we found before despawned or was killed. I have no idea which, but uh, yeah, we're going to try and get this one instead. This one is level 34. I don't know whether that means this one's going to be slightly easier to try and tame. But uh, one thing I will do is uh, quickly put on another bowler. Get that reload on, boys. Come on. I actually don't know, like, how many shots. Oh! And that'll do it, boys! The good news is, as well, I managed to... I, I found some uh, rare mushrooms as well. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. And rare mushrooms, believe it or not, are what these guys take for their uh, bait slash taming material. But, yeah, you can get rare mushrooms from various different places. You can get them... Oh, hello. There's another one. <laughs> He's only level 18, though. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, male Procoptodon. All right. So... I don't know how quick this is going to be. Mate boosted. Okay. Interesting. Yeah! Procoptodon! Good day to you, buddy. Right. So, apparently, there's like a bunch of stuff you can go with this guy. Passenger seat. I'm, what? What? How do I... Uh, I want to look at this. I want to look at this. Oh, no. I want to put away the, 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 the weapon. Go away. And then, can I not... What? I want to be able to see what I'm doing here, bro. Passenger seats, board pouch. Oh, I can't go free view so I can see myself in the pouch. Oh my goodness me! Okay, okay. Here, buddy. Here, all of you. All of you over here. Ah! Okay, okay. Oh, what? Oh my god, my Procoptodon killed him. That's fantastic. Wow, okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, equip a saddle and see what kind of speed this guy can achieve. Oh, hey, he's got a level. He's got three levels up already. What the crap? Okay, right. Uh, melee damage and carry weight. Wow, carry weight's quite a lot, isn't it? 514. That's nuts. All right. What can we do? Oh, this guy's pretty quick. All right, what about jump? Whee! Yeah, if he doesn't bash into stuff, he's probably got like a very long jump. Oh my god, he does. Whoa. This is comparable to that of the Bielzy buffo. <laughs> Look at me, Tyranodon. I'm just flying past you. <laughs> oh, mate, that is amazing. <laughs> I'm really happy that we did that. All right, buddy, you need to get destroyed. Get wrecked, or, or maybe not. Okay, uh, drag body. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. I could drag it. 
We don't need this. All right, boom. Uh, we've got some raw prime meat. There's not really any point to us having that. It just wastes inventory space. So I'll tell you what we will do. We'll give this guy the silica pearls and also some meat because he actually completely ran out there. And uh, yeah, you, sir, you can follow me and we're going to take our procoptodon and we're going to go back to base. Mate, I'm so happy we got this guy. <laughs> hey, explore notes. And four more levels up for this guy. Holy hell. Oh, wow. That's a hell of a health increase. Let's get us up. That's a decent stamina increase as well. Wow. This guy is a brilliant all-rounder, isn't he? Wow. <laughs> and we ourselves have got a level up as well. So I'm going to go with melee damage. Because I like damage at this point. Uh, what have we got at level, what, 78? We've got a Mosasaur saddle. Uh, I can't remember if I've ever seen any Mosasaurs. So, you know, that's a thing. Anyways, uh, I digress. We are currently in the process of trying to travel back to base. And then uh, once we've done that, uh, I think what we'll do is we will try to get ourselves a thing. You know what thing I'm on about. The other thing that I said I was wanting to try and tame in this episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. Quetzal. That's it. In the meantime, I do kind of want to try and uh, head towards the swamp on the way back because apparently these uh, kangaroo dudes, these procoptodons, are absolutely excellent for harvesting brown mushrooms. So, you know, we should definitely go ahead and put that to the test, huh? So if I manage to get to the swamp without dying, uh, that would be brilliant. Are you a Quetzal? I can't tell the difference between those other birds and the Quetzals. Like, I know there's got to be some sort of visual difference to the trained eye, but, uh, you know, I'm not- Oh, Jesus! But I'm not trained! Oh my goodness me, let's get the hell out of it! Uh, buddy? Oh, no, oh no. Let's not get killed there, broski. Thank you. Alright, let's go through here. Hey, this guy's having no troubles navigating this forest. <laughs> awesome. Oh my god, we're taking on a small army here, my friends! What in the crap is going on? There's a Titan Barrow in here! What the crap? Hey, bro! That ain't fair, dude! Get the get out of here, bro! Ah, ah, Titan Bear's out of the game! Oh, I know, we've got like a bunch of Dilophosaurs, there's a freaking raptor in there somewhere! What the crap, dude? Get out of here! You freaking raptor! Oh, shit! That was not an appropriate time to go pooping there, buddy! Can you, like, die, please, you stupid raptor, idiot brain? I will not get killed! Keep it going! Raptor's out of the game, okay. Uh, who else have we got? We've got yet another raptor. Oh my goodness me. Oh god! This is not good, guys. We in trouble here. Dilophosaur, Dilophosaur. Uh, please stop! Ah! There's so many dudes here! What the crap, dude? Yes! I think I got them all! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh! Yeah, well that's a small army taken down. Holy moly! Right, have I got some time to actually do stuff? A little bit of health and some more melee damage, methinks. Holy Jesus, man. Right, uh, what do we think? Stamina? More health? I might go for more health, why not? Uh, now we've got level 70. Yeah, we've got ourselves a compound bow and metal arrow. That's pretty damn interesting. Uh, oh, I can unlock them both. Fantastic, look at that. It requires polymer, metal... Oh my god, these are expensive, bro. Wow. High-tech bow made of durable alloy. Can launch arrows at high velocity, requires arrows to fire. Of course it does. Holy moly. Right, well, in the meantime, you, you lot just sort of stay for a sec, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick up all of my loot. Because, you know, that's how we roll around here, huh? Get wrecked, you freaking buttheads. Look at how many things are here, bro. It's like a graveyard now. This is just wrong. Jeez. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Where's the rest of you? All right, there's one. Look at all this chitin I'm getting. Loads of it. Holy hell. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa, now that's a big duty. What the crap? Right, hey, there we go. There's the rare mushrooms. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not taking it down another five million people. Jeez, dude. Oh, God, let's get out of it. <laughs> not a good idea to stay here, huh? Oh, God. Oh, no, we need to be careful in this place. This is where those freaking jumping down cat dudes are. Oh, God. Let's just not, eh? Oh, I'm kind of tempted to just go through the swamp here and just get the hell out of here. Just this, this just doesn't seem like a good place to be. So let's get out of here. Ah! 
And here we are back at base, ladies and gentlemen. Please do go rest a little Tyranodon. Things are looking good, my friends. Our dino collection is starting to become pretty damn good, isn't it? Right, uh, what did that... Oh, he's over there. Okay, with his brethren. Fair enough. I can't complain. Right, so this guy's got a whole bunch of thatch and wood and all sorts. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna kind of leave him to it, I guess. Uh, let's go and put all of the meats and whatnots away. And then after that, I guess we'll go ahead and, uh, see about making ourselves one of those Quetzal saddles, huh? Sounds like a good idea to me. Well, let's get that out. Uh, put that in there. I mean, look at the amount of spoiled meat we have now, guys. This is insane. Oh, wow. If I had the same supply of narco berries, then we would be all over that knockout grind. You know what I'm saying? Holy moly. Right, so let's get you all placed in there. Okay. Right, actually, let's get that oil back out because then I can start making some gasoline out of that, right? I believe what I need to do is put that in there and then put some hide in there. And then it will start making gasoline. Am I correct in thinking that? I think I am. Right. Let's get you in there. Oh, I need some wood as well. Right, Mr. Kangaroo Dude. I need some wood. And also... Well, actually, that's just about it, really. I need wood and that's it. I need silica pearls from my, from my uh, Tyranodon. And then off we go. Wait, what am I doing with myself? I'm being an idiot. You're supposed to go in here, Python. Oh, jeez, man. There you go. There you go. We got there in the finish, didn't we? Right, so, silica pearls is what we're looking for. This guy's got every single one that we managed to get from that area. So let's head back to base, and ladies and gentlemen, we should be able to make this thing, I guess. Is it made here? I have no idea. Uh, let's have a look. Quets. It requires... We need more cementing paste and fiber. Right, I believe I've got all of that, actually. Do I have some fiber in here? Uh, I've got cementing paste. Lots of cementing paste. How about some Phoebus? Phoebus! No? Okay. Well, we'll have some somewhere, I guess. If not, then uh, I guess we could always just use our sickle and get some. Because, you know, sickles are very, very effective with these things. Check it out. Boom! Look at that! 162 straight off the rip. <laughs> Sickles are actually really, really good. Very underrated, in my opinion. So, let's get back in here. And, ladies and gentlemen, we should now be able to do this. Quetzal saddle. Yeah! This will take a little bit. I don't know whether we're going to get a rank up from this. But, uh, at the very least, we're going to get ourselves something epic. Uh, where is it? It's going to wind up down here, isn't it? Yep, there it is. Hey! Wait, no. Uh, eh. Fantastic. There we go, my friends. We've got ourselves a quet saddle. Now! Uh, five, uh, six tranquilizer darts. I don't know if that's going to be enough for what we need. Maybe we can get some more narcotics. Do we have the ability to? No, we need some more narcot berries. Well, in which case, should we just check out our rhinos real quick? Not rhinos. They're not rhinos. What am I on about? <laughs> I don't even know my dinos anymore. I'm losing my memory, dudes. <sighs> right. Uh, no narcot berries on you, but I guess we could just get some, right? I mean, why not? Alrighty, guys. So I've been searching around for a very, very long time now. And sadly, I haven't managed to find a Quetzal, which is really saddening because I would have really liked to get one. Now, I looked on the wiki and apparently Quetzals are actually very, very, very hard to knock out because apparently they never land. They're always flying. And one of the strategies it suggested was that we go ahead and get a high level, uh, fast moving uh, flying saddle. In other words, a Tyranodon because... I believe they're the fastest and then uh, we need to do some stuff with them But obviously this guy's only level 43 So it's it's less than ideal honestly So what would be a cool idea is if we grabbed ourselves another Tyranodon Try to get ourselves a very very high-end one Maybe like level 70 level 80 and therefore I could get myself like a ton of stamina on him as well That would be brilliant honestly it really, really would. So, uh, let's have a quick look. Can I make the Tyranodon saddle like this? Yes, I can. Okay, so I need uh, chitin slash keratin, fiber, and hide, all of which I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, so, there's the chitin. There's the hide. And then we just need some uh, we just need some fiber real quick. And then off we go to find ourselves another Tyranodon. Hopefully, it won't be that difficult. There we go. Oh. Uh, hide. Oh, a tiny little bit more hide. Okay, fair enough. Apparently, I didn't have the resources. Alright, hello there, good sir. How about you give me some hide? Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're going to find ourselves, hopefully, a higher level Tyranodon. We're going to knock it out. We're going to try and get it tamed, and then everything should be good. So, yeah, guys, we're going to go on the hunt. Let's do it. Yes! 
Level 87 female Tyranodon has just been downed. Can you imagine what level we're actually going to get on this gal? Holy moly, dude. Come on. Are we about to have ourselves a level 100 plus Tyranodon? We should do with the taming effectiveness. I've noticed that as you go along, the higher the level you tame or take down, the higher amount of taming effectiveness it has, right? So, yeah. What are you? Oh, you're, you're the one we already have. Okay, fair enough. Well, in which case, we've got female Tyranodon. Are you a male? Uh, male? Hey, these two could breed. We could have Tyranodon eggs and everything. That'd be fantastic. Right, let's see what kind of level we managed to get with this gal. This is going to be amazing, guys. I'm so ready for this. I really am. Yes! Guys, we did it! Look at it. We've got a brand new Tyranodon, level 129. Holy moly, dude. And, uh, well, I don't know when to stop sometimes because check this out. I also took down a Megalodon who is also in the process of being tamed. This guy is just eating raw fish. It's taken a fair while, but this guy has the potential to be a level 70 plus. Uh, I imagine the taming effectiveness will go down as we go along. Uh, the taming bar only goes up like 7% per time. But uh, because it's fish, he eats a bit more often. And also... He has a very high torpidity, so it's going to take a very long time for him to wake up again. So, yeah, we're going to have a Megalodon, guys. And uh, the best thing is, we have hides. Not hides. We have uh, we have saddles for both of them. Both the Tyranodon and the Megalodon. The Megalodon saddle, if we just quickly have a look, requires a cementic paste, fiber, and hide. Not that expensive by any stretch of the imagination, so I was able to easily, easily make it. Right, buddy, you want to come over here? I want to see what you can do, boy. I want to see what you can do. Yeah. Ha! Okay, right. Here we go. So, let's get you in there. Oh, my God, guys. We've got a level 129 Tyranodon. How about that, boys? Hey? Would you have ever expected? I would have never expected. What kind of stats is this guy rocking? Holy moly. That's stamina, though, dude. That is epic. 337. Uh, what is that like in terms of comparison to this guy? This guy's got 265, and that's only because I've been ranking up the stamina a whole bunch. Uh, 265 stamina, 150 weight, or 151 weight. This one's got 165 weight and 337 stamina. Now, of course, you know, as we rank this guy up, we're going to be able to get ourselves a ton more stats, guys. It is going to be fantastic. It is. It is going to be brilliant, guys. In the meantime, uh, I would like... I heard a dodo somewhere. Yes, you. Get killed. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it there, broski. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split off the meat and uh, give these guys whatever they want. So there you go. You can have that. And then this guy can have the rest of it. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to wait for this Megalodon to be tamed. It's quite lucky that I managed to get him beached here as well. I mean, uh, to the point, look, he could still breathe, strictly speaking, because his face is in the water. Yes, he has lost health. But, uh, yeah, it's not like continuing to, you know, drain away. It's, it's, it's all right. We'll see what this guy can do. I've, I've never tamed a Megalodon before. This is the first ever fish I'm going to tame. And it's going to be fantastic. <laughs> Howdy, guys. Any second now, this Megalodon should be mine at level 77, boys. There we go. Oh, my God. I wasn't expecting this, my friends. Let's go ahead and uh, get a saddle on. And can I, can I, like, can I, uh, uh, right. There's, 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 there's one way to fix this real quick. Uh, eh. There you go. Right, how about now? Eh. Eh. Nope, that's not working. Alright, let's try this. Let's get rid of you. Okay, let's get rid of the freaking stone. Don't need it all. Ugh, so much crap on me. Really don't need it. How about now? No! Buddy! Buddy, no! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Alright, how about we try and get him out into the ocean? Is that even going to be possible? Can you, like, move, like, at all? Come on, buddy! Oh, no! I think he's actually beached! I think he's actually beached! Oh, no. Can I, like, shove him? Is that possible? Like, can I shove him with a different dino? Like, if I grab my Tyranodon and just try to shove him in the water? I don't know if that's going to work, but we'll give it a quick go real quick. Uh, go. Go. No, it's not working. I can't move him. No, no. Oh, no. 
Oh, well, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, well, ladies and gentlemen, if I do, I'm going to end the episode here because this has been a very, very long one for me. A three-hour recording just for an episode. But, guys, if you enjoyed this one, a big fat thumbs up would be super appreciated. As per the norm, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss out on future videos. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get this guy in the water somehow before the next episode because I do want to see what this guy can do in the water. Uh, in the meantime, we need to try and get these two back to base, the level 130. Uh, probably my best team so far, honestly. Very, very happy with that, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the episode. And I will see you guys later.